All right, so our next topic for discussion is fungal skin infections. Our examples are tinea pedis, tinea corporis, versicolor, capitis, and anchimycosis. All right, these are fungal skin infections. Uh, we're going to diagnose them visually. All fungal skin infections of the hair, skin, and nails are diagnosed visually. All right, and how are we going to follow this up? We're going to confirm it with potassium hydroxide or KOH test of the skin. That's another word for potassium hydroxide. You can see either one of them on the test, okay? Now our most accurate diagnostic test, culture of the skin, all right? So we're first gonna diagnose them visually. We're gonna confirm them with the KOH of the skin, also known as potassium hydroxide, and our most accurate is the culture of the skin, all right? Now here's where our algorithm comes in play. We're gonna, with the treatment of fungal skin infections, all right? You gotta remember two of them for this, okay? You gotta remember onchomycosis or tinea capitis, because all other fungal infections that don't involve the hair or the nails are gonna be completely different, okay? Not completely different, but there's gonna be something distinguishing in between, okay? So onchomycosis or tinea capitis, how are we gonna treat them? We're gonna go oral turbinified or itraconazole, okay? And duration, if it's the fingernails, we're gonna go six weeks, and if it's the toenails, we're gonna go for 12 weeks. What do we have to worry about when we're given turbinified? Elevation of liver enzymes. So we gotta check our LFTs if prescribing turbinified, okay? Now, what are you gonna give a patient if they have liver cirrhosis or if they have some kind of liver toxicity? What are you gonna do? You can't give turbinified, right? This is when you can go to griseofulvin. Now, some some people say that griseofulvin is never used. I know World says griseofulvin is never used, but Kaplan says it is used. So, you know, the only time that I guess they can ask you this question is if you have an elevation of liver enzymes, you obviously can't use terbinafide, okay? But if there's a fingernail infection, you can use griseofulvin, but you have to give it for six to 12 months, okay? And the important point actually not written here is that griseofulvin can't be used in toenail infections. It can only be used in fingernail infections, okay? And if it's tinea capitis, we're gonna give it for six to eight weeks, all right? Now, all other fungal infections that don't involve the hair or the nails, we're gonna to give topical medications such as ketoconazole, clotrimazole, meconazole, turbinify. And the thing that's important here, all of them have equal efficacy, okay? Once again, if we're gonna use in ketoconazole, what do we gotta worry about? We gotta worry about those LFTs, okay? Because ketoconazole, as we know, can cause hepatotoxicity and gynecomastia, okay? So always monitor those, monitor those LFTs when giving ketoconazole. So quick review. Fungal skin infections, right? Pedis, corporis, versicolor, capitis, onchomycosis. How are we gonna diagnose them? Visually, bam, done. Next, how are we gonna confirm it? Potassium hydroxide, also known as KOH of the skin. Diagnose visually, confirm with KOH, most accurate, culture of the skin, okay? If it's one of these two, onchomycosis or tinea capitis, we're using turbinified. If it's in the fingernails, six weeks, toenails, lower down, 12 weeks, okay? Gotta check our LFTs, and if the LFTs are elevated, can't use turbinified, right? So you gotta monitor the LFTs. And we can use griseofulvin for fingernail infection, but not a toenail infection. And But we're gonna be giving these patients six to 12 months if it's fingernails. If it's tinea capitis, six to eight weeks, all right? Everything else, remember all these drugs right here, ketoconazole, clotrimazole, meconazole, turbinify, all of equal efficacy. And once again, if we're using ketoconazole, monitor those LFTs and watch out for that gynecomastia, all right? And that's our fungal skin infections.